Hello and welcome to Nine Inch Charge. Well, today we've got something really exciting to share. Um, I was down the pub having Sunday lunch, as you do, um, and I came back and Tom has sent me something really exciting. We've got a leak, um, uh, a sprue of some kind, um, apparently. Well, Tom, why don't you why don't you tell us? Well, <clears throat> the rumor is that this was purchased out of a um, like a bring and buy car boot sale in Nottingham, straight from the old Warhammer World bin. Um, yeah, I'd say that it looks like a Pegasus. It's really exciting to see a sprue. There's loads of stuff about it that I, I want to talk about, starting with um, some people have been zooming in to the top of the sprue where it says Games Workshop, and it seems to say Games Workshop 2023. So this is a brand new sprue. Goodness knows what this story is about how it ended up in some sort of being in a car boot sale, which um, for our American watchers is like a yard sale, I suppose. Mm. Um, yeah, how did that happen? And the other thing about it is, why is it again a blurry picture? Why can nobody hold their camera still? If you're going to leak something, uh, if you're going to leak something, can you please just take a nice, good quality picture of it? We are very grateful because. You know, this is as much as Games Workshop have shown us in years, if we're honest, about the old world. You know, we've had three models in as many years. So thank you, Leakers, for, you know, for showing us a third of what Games Workshop have shown us. And the sprue is interesting to see. Um, but yeah, so why don't we dive in? Let's talk about it. Let's analyse what we've seen on the sprue and why we think that it is um, <laughs> more interesting than meets the eye sort of straight away. And the first thing that I wanted to say... Um, was about the base and about on one of the one of the hooves, um, because oh. if you look at the base, it's got two holes in the bottom of it. So it looks to me like it. That means that it is a push fit model, and a lot of these models have these. The Endless Spells have them as well, and stuff like that. Um, the Stormcast Eternals push fits. They kind of push together and then push into their base, um, and that. It's a shame we can't see the other side of the sprue because I'm sure we'd see more of the push fit kind of things. Um, but this tells me that because it's a push fit model, because it's 2023, because it is very clearly Bretonian esque and a Pegasus, it tells me that this is coming in a starter set. Absolutely. I do believe. Sorry, I've just got really excited because you said base. So I'm going to go on a bit of a tangent. I'm just looking at that little shield on the base. And I can't decide if that's from an orc. Mm. I think that's an orc boy. It looks to me like that's for an orc shield, not a Tomb King shield. That's very interesting. Of course, we haven't seen any Tomb King stuff. So, <clears throat> But the other thing, I suppose, off the back of it being push fit is that um, we don't know if it's going to be a unit because in the pictures of of the Pegasus Knights that we've seen in the article so far, it's the old ones which were fine cast or uh, would be recast in metal, um, one of those. So they haven't shown any updated models for Bretonian Pegasus. And now all of a sudden we've got a plastic one. So it makes me wonder, especially as it's got a sculpted base, is it actually not going to be a unit? Is it going to be... A hero that comes in the starter box and then the unit you would still buy as the old ones that we've seen a picture of already or are they going to do a thing of this is what you thought bretonia would look like well this is what bretonia really looked like and then we've got kind of but i don't really know why they would do that so it it makes me think that this is going to be kind of a one off um but if it's in a starter set they are probably going to be kind of ten a penny, aren't they? Sometimes it does end up that you can get a few second hands. And if there's only going to be a unit of three, there are going to be a lot of people who are offloading one half of the starter box. So you may well be able to pick up another two um, at not too much cost and then make it into a unit, which would be fun. Yeah, if I was going to guess, I'd say this was a character, mate, from a... I think this is the big Bretonian centrepiece in a, in a box set, if I was going to hazard a guess the last three models we've seen have all been in resin it's mm. just it's strange that if they're going to do one character just on the off chance you're going to do the big the big model 
that you probably only buy one of instead of the BSB where you're going to buy multiple. It's a good opportunity to make a multi-pack plastic. I think it's I going think, to be a big thing in the box. I, I would say, personally, the reason why I think that this one is plastic as opposed to resin and push fit is because the starter box will be all plastic because yeah. having a mix of resin and plastic i think could be a bit difficult and also if you want people to get into your game resin isn't an entry level kind of thing really yeah, and you want to start playing you don't want to like, give your models a bath and scrape them and no. the rest of it you want to just push them together and get going like we want to do we want to be excited and just yeah. be like, right off the go let's push them together let's you know let's get going so i think that tells me that it's definitely starter set material um, and the other heroes they've shown us are kind of the more specialist ones that you would then buy subsequently to have in the, the star set. Um, so, yeah, I don't know what else to say other than it's push fit. It's 2023. It, it looks like it's from a starter set. Um, it's cool that we've finally seen some plastics. I suppose the other side of this is now Games Workshop often, when you get a potato camera rumor engine picture, they often follow up quite quickly with an article showing the same thing because they'd rather show it to you in all, in all its glory rather than in a blurry picture. So hopefully we will have some official news on this right away, but I don't know if they'd be comfortable showing something out of the starter box straight off. the whole starter box. Yeah. Um, and there were some leaks from Warcry recently um, on Reddit showing the, the latest box, and they didn't mention it at Warhammer Fair, so they didn't mention it, but they just kind of ignored them. So I hope that we see something from Games Workshop and a bit of movement. Um, they have said that there is going to be an update quite soon, you know, another one this month, um, and they've got some cool stuff to show us. So it would be nice if now they incorporated this. Um, we were wondering, weren't we, Tom, if it was two different head options? Yeah, there. I think it's just the one cut in half. Like the old shoulder pad, the space screen shoulder pad oh, kind of setup. That upsets me, that does those shoulder pads. <laughs> I've got over but, um, 100 of them now. <laughs> <laughs> With 200 pieces to make 100 yeah. shoulder pads. Yeah. So, yeah, we don't want too much of that if we can help it. Um, but what do you think about the um about the model itself from what you can see Tom. oh no i'm if if this is going to be like the direction they go with with new bretonian stuff i'm looking at this model i'm like there's there's a lot of cool detail in there that is distinctly bretonian but there's so many nice opportunities to do some nice like transfers some really nice mm. freehand like i think before if this came out when fantasy was in his prime if you see the massive like bit of cloth right in the middle that would have been just filled with gubbins but they're going to give mm. us as the hobbyist a bit of an opportunity to do something there which i'm really excited yeah. about i love transfers for me i'm looking forward to seeing it assembled um i think the scenic base is a nice touch it'll make it stand a bit you know everyone has sort of a hero rock for their characters don't mm. they I'm interested in the pose because one of the wings is two parts. So one of them kind of seems to be spread out and the other one is a bit bent maybe. So it's, it might look a bit like um, those Stormcast Dragon heroes that came out. Is that sort of pose, which would yeah. be which would be nice. Um, obviously, there would be another part to it to be the rider. I mean, I'd be very interested to see the rider and to see what options it comes with. Because if it is a hero... You might want a hero with a lance. You might want a hero with a sword. You might want a hero with a great weapon. Um, I well, would from, wonder what that would look like. From the last article, you'd expect a hero like this to come with quite a lot because they said you could customise your heroes in almost any way you want, right? Mm. Yeah. Um, I don't know that you need to play true um, WYSIWYG. You know, we used to have heroes built mm. a certain way and say, oh, he's got an enchanted sword or whatever. And it did used to say, didn't it, it replaces the weapon that they've yeah. got, you know, just say it's enchanted, you know, whatever. Just, but, yeah. um, but I think it would be nice to see that with some options. It would be nice to see some different helmet options. So you could, talk, you know, you could take a helmet that you like, so it's not all, so they don't all look the same. Um, but it's just really nice to see it in plastic because everything else obviously has been the Tomb King that we saw, the Bretonia, the two Bretonian heroes that we've seen have all been resin. It's just really nice to see that they have said there'll be plastic kits coming out and they have said mm -hmm. that 
every army will get something new and probably would get a plastic kit of some description. And it's nice to finally see something. Um, so, yeah, more of this, please. And it just makes me wonder how it got into someone's hands as well, because obviously it's in production then. It's it's too early for it to be have, to have it given out to influencers. They don't tend to get things, you know, until it's announced. Yeah. Um, so it must have come from Games Workshop. Now, obviously, we have had the old bit in the past where they've accidentally sent one thing out as another. When when they changed warehouses, this happened that they'd sent. Mm. Or was it, it was your golden boy from the... Um, yeah, Dante. Yeah, they'd sent the wrong Dante out. They sent the new one out instead of the old one. Um, and something happened with Blood Bowl. But this seems to be a bit different because in the box of sprues, there was this and there was new Flesh Eater Courts. So I've got no idea how this could have happened. If anybody has any ideas, um, let us know, because there are brand new Flesh Eater Courts as well to look at. Um, but yeah, I don't know how it's happened. I'm really grateful that it has happened because I think I did say before in the previous video, I think the community is beginning to feel a bit drip fed and we'd like to see more. And yeah. now that Epic has been delayed, it kind of feels like the old world would be delayed. So because they wouldn't release the two simultaneously necessarily, or it wouldn't make great business sense. So just really nice to see something. Hope Games Workshop follow it up. Cool that there are plastic kits coming and that we've got to see something of one of them. All right, Tom, anything to add? No, I don't think so. I'm just super hyped now. It feels like the, the, it's the next stepping stone where it almost becomes real. And it's actually going to be <laughs> happening, right? We're so close. I think I, I'd love to hear from you guys in the community what you, what else you would like to see. What you think this is? Do you think it's part of a unit? Do you think, as we think, that it's probably uh, a character? Um, I'm going to diverge from you slightly, Tom, and say that I don't think this is the big centerpiece. It might be the biggest one in the starter box, but I really hope that they do, a, as you said in the start, Griffin, um, and do a hero on a Griffin rather than just a Pegasus being the biggest thing, because the Griffin was always quite small. So I hope have to the see a bit. Sorry, the hippogriff. That's what I meant. Yeah, yeah. sorry. The hippogriff, yeah. the hippogriff is always very small for, for Britonia. And I would like to see a new one of those be the centerpiece. Whether it's in the... I don't know that it would come in the starter box. It might be like Cities of Sigma, where you get the starter box and then the big monster is separate. But let us know what you think in the comments. Let us know what you think is coming. Let us know what kits you would like to see reimagined and an updated plastic kit for any of the armies that are coming out. Because I think that's something that we're going to do a video on where we will go through them in turn and talk about what we would like to see mm. and what could be coming that would be a nice reimagined kit, um, something a bit old or something missing in the army. Um, and yeah, just can't wait to hear more on this. Th that the sprue is made means that it's in production. It means we're getting there. We know the rules are, are finalised and written because they started talking about them. So the book is there. The, the sprues are there. We're getting there. We are getting there finally after all this time. Um, Slowly but surely. Yeah. If you've enjoyed this video, um, give it a like. If you'd like to see more, please subscribe because we will be covering absolutely everything to do with this game as we approach it and beyond. And uh, I think that is everything, and we will catch you next time. Take care.